I have to tell you guys all about this new trend that I've been doing, and it's gonna blow your mind. Did you all know that there are now adult coloring books? Yeah. You've seen them, they're like, yeah. yeah. All right, they're getting super popular. According to Forbes magazine, since 2015, over 12 million of them have been sold. That's a lot of coloring yes. books. Yes, So the question is, why are grown-ups deciding to color again? Uh, they say that it's, for some people, nostalgic. It's old school, and it reminds them of our childhood. But this is my thing, though. Uh, how much do they cost? So Urban Outfitters can be a little pricey. I think each book was like 14 bucks. Four oh, hell no! Four yeah. books? Yeah. What? It was a bow coloring you book, people. You can get $1.99 at Walgreens. What? Yeah, but you'll be coloring, no. like, they actually, bears, have, clowns. they actually have, like, Game of Thrones yes. coloring books. Now, I tried this. Yeah. My aunt, actually, uh, she retired as a kindergarten teacher, so she's a teacher, and she asked me, she said, Tamara, are you into these, like, really cool adult coloring books? Yes. I had no idea they existed. She said that it actually helps you with your stress levels, it helps you focus, it helps you with uh, clarity, so and I needed on that. Airplane. Yes, mm. so I tried it, you guys. Um, you I, I brought a plane, picture of get it. Get you a drink if you're yes. a Yes. But look at mine, Nick. Yes. Look at know. mine. Oh, you're I'm good. good. I did that. You're good. When you guys say the word adult coloring book, I got so excited. I looked up one of these things. Yeah? You guys, there's nothing adult about it. I was picturing some, like, triple X stuff. Like, <laughs> that's what I thought. Yeah. You guys, that's it's like I got butterflies a gift like that a few stuff. years ago. Somebody actually gave me an adult. Now uh, that's the book. Coloring I want. book. I want coloring that book. book. And it was men's naked, like men's bodies, and you could draw the parts that. Oh, you yes. Yes. To them. yes. I would extend. I would embellish. I would yes. add to that book. My that's, imagination. Now that's an adult. Crazy. I could get okay. into. Yes. All right. All right. Yes. You're crazy. No. You're <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I, it's adult because how can you not like it? It's fashion. No. Like for instance, yes. I got the and Christian Dior one. Let it. me tell you how I like fashion. Okay, I like my fear. I like my therapy. The retail way. I like to online shop. Okay. You know that? That is therapy for me. Do you no, sketch like fashion? No. I like to see it done. I want to see it where it's already been manufactured, where it's been priced, and when it's in the on sale discount I area. I have to say, Jeannie, that's I was, how I like it. I was skeptical at first. Okay. I was like, this is really silly. But I actually really enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, you it's know what? Fun. I what really are your kids understand. doing while you're coloring? Coloring with me. They have their own. They have their own books, and you had that $14 book. I get it, all right? <laughs> you know? But I'm not gonna, you know what? You guys like to color, I like to doodle. That's oh, what I like. Yes. Okay. yes, and if you're a doodler like me, people might accuse you of not paying attention. But whatever your teacher or boss told you about it is wrong. Really? I've been studying this. Studies say that doodling can actually help you pay attention. What? And it helps you ward off distraction and keeps you focused. That's mm. what keeps you focused. See? Who knew? Yeah. I know, right? I, I doodle a lot. I doodle. You doodle too? I do. Well, you know what I did? I asked everybody to doodle something okay. yes. because I want to tell you what your doodle says about you. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay? So, Adrian, let yeah. me see yours. Every time we do those cubicles and we pretend we're in the office, I doodle, and I would doodle my new last name, but I, I, so I would practice writing you my are new so signature. Cute. So, Adrian. this is Adrian. Oh, it looks good, Adrian. Right? I, I just love her signature. Oh, it's like, like her it. signature, you know? So what that says about her, you know, because you're always doing your name, it yes. means that you like to be the center of attention. That's oh. that. <laughs> well, gosh, it doesn't Nothing mean wrong with that. It's no shade. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying you like to. It's... But you're in. But you're in. Bride Nobody mode. else's name, just hers. It's <laughs> me and my and my husband's last name. Yeah. Like I, I'm gonna say okay. the study says. I'm not saying it. The study says that when you doodle just your name, you only care about you. That's what. <laughs> What does your doodle say about you? Where's your doodle? There's my doodle. That little postcard? Right here. Oh, little oh post that's cute. I'm always on my little little weave face. on my doodle. My head. Okay. Okay, okay. so did you know that doodling faces means that you see good in others and flowers means that you are amicable? Oh. Oh, that, that yeah, that's so true. You're saying that I'm going to be the center <laughs> of attention. I love oh. that. Okay, well, you guys, I doodled. And because I learned like 3D art when I was in school, yeah. I doodled a 3D box oh, because I cool. want 3D clear boxes for my shoes at home. Dude, okay. wouldn't that be dope? See, what does mine mean? Well, Jeannie, actually doodling boxes means that you're efficient. And that's actually very true. Oh, you yes, get you are. it done. You I sure do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
you that are Lonnie? very efficient. Yeah, it um, also means you're a nerd. That's come from Lonnie. That's... I'll take that. Nerds are smart. <laughs> All right, Tam Tam, what did you doodle? Okay, um, I actually have this little book in my room. Yes. And I'm always doodling hearts and arrows. Oh. Yep. oh I'm always, like, awesome. coloring in hearts and... Uh, Oh, here it is right here. I have it right here. I doodle hearts and arrows. I don't know why and the, I do and that. The arrows are going down. No, you have some going um, to the left, and then you have some going that down. Most of them are going rain. down. Lonnie. <laughs> like, I draw them in like all you're different about types something of uh, directions. <laughs> Talking so, about. Tamara, did you know that doodling arrows, it actually means that you are ambitious. Ooh. And doodling hearts is that you are in love with love. That is actually very, very I love that. That part. Okay, but I you love guys... a challenge, so I am very ambitious, and I love love. I love you love. guys know, I'm always talking Wait. about my husband, I'm always talking about my kids. It's just because I love love, people. That's I love awesome. it. I love it.